Hi there, welcome to your last task. This one is going to use a formula called Vertical Lookup. This is going to help you locate information on other tabs, bring it into a new tab so that you're not having to look across multiple places for some information you need. So in this example, I have a first grade spreadsheet, a second grade spreadsheet, and I have a master spreadsheet. Because that's really what matters. I just need a master copy. I don't need to even care. Even the teachers are the ones filling in their own tabs. So here's what you're gonna do. First things first is we're gonna freeze row one. So freezing rows allows us to scroll down a spreadsheet, but the headers are gonna stay put. So I don't have to be like, wait, what information was in this column? I'm gonna know. So the way to do that is select your row one, you'll see it go gray. Come over the way to view, and then freeze row one. And you'll see it go gray. So I'll scroll just so you can see that it stayed put. All right, I also need to go ahead and sort by grade level. This is gonna help me when I wanna copy my formulas. It's a great shortcut. So here, right click and sort A to Z. Notice it's sorted numerically. All right, so now what I'm gonna have it do is I need this ID number, which is on my first grade spreadsheet. I want this spreadsheet to look on my first grade tab for this ID number and I want it to automatically pull in the last name, the first name, and the iPad status. So I'm not copying and pasting. That's where vertical workup is gonna help. So you're gonna always start pulling with an equal sign. You're gonna type V, lookup. You can type in all caps or lowercase, it doesn't matter. Google Sheets makes formulas really nice because they like to give you an example and they like to explain the formula but that's also what this video is for. So the search key is what am I gonna search this spreadsheet for? How do I even know the information? Well, I'm gonna have it search for the student ID number. Okay, range, where does it need to look? Well, I need it to look on the first grade tab on this whole spreadsheet. See how it all went purple? All right, next part, I need to know See these little dollar signs? So if I leave it like this, what's gonna happen? I'm gonna leave it like this for now just to show you why I need those dollar signs. Dollar signs are gonna help the rows get glued. So when I copy the formula using another shortcut, things aren't gonna change. I'm gonna leave it like this just so you can see why. All right, I need the last name, which is located in the second column. You can see last name right here. And you'll see that this is not really sorted by last name at all. So the last part of the formula is I'm going to type is false because it's not organized by last name. All right, hold in your name. So see how all of these are also on the first grade tab? I don't want to have to retype that formula over and over again. It gets really bold. Sheets makes it possible to copy down a formula using this blue box right here. So if I hit sit here and I copy it down, not too bad. So see how this says A1 to D7? Now it says A2 to D8, A3 to D9. See how the rows are switching? That's what I don't want to happen. This one, it kind of worked out, but it doesn't always. So way to prevent that happening to come up here and we add dollar signs and what this does is it glues that range so that it doesn't move so now I'm going to copy the same formula for first grade only see a1 to d7 keeps it put makes it very nice all right I'm going to do the same formula so I'm honestly going to have it pull in all the first names first names are located in the third column so it's pretty much the same formula. So here's the fun part. I'm just gonna take this blue dot. I'm gonna copy it over. Oh, looks like I got an error. Okay, that's okay, because now I'm looking in the third column because I need it to find the first names. See how it says B2? Mm -hmm. I need it to look with the student ID. So I'm gonna double click, change this. A2. Now my formula works. So you can see the dangers of copying and pasting formulas. It doesn't always work. You have to kind of fine tune it. But it's always helpful to try it again. 
right? This is the unique identifier. Range, I'm gonna pull this entire spreadsheet. Sometimes it kind of closes, just double click to always go back and edit. Remember those dollar signs. Maybe dollar, 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 dollar. All right, third column for the first name and false because I didn't organize Joey Giuliani. Now I can copy my formula down and it pulls everyone. All right, last one is iPad status. Again, is located in the fourth column. So come back to my master. I'm gonna vertical look up. Still gonna search by student ID number. Still gonna choose the same range. Bright purple. Oops. Try that again. All right. Don't forget your dollar signs. Oh, see, he likes to do that. So you can kind of see some of the shortcuts and keystrokes can get picky. All right, I'm gonna look in the fourth and false. All right, it looks like Chandler has a good iPad. Let me double check. Chandler has a good iPad. Copy all the way down. All right, Joey looks like I need to fix his iPad. Which is true, I need to fix Joey's iPad. All right, I'm gonna have you try the second grade. Works exactly the same way, you're just gonna do it with the second grade tab. Last thing I want you to do is conditional format in column E. So red is gonna be broken, and yellow are ones that need to be fixed. So I'm gonna click on column E. We're gonna come all the way to format. Come to the bottom, conditional formatting. And then I'm gonna put text contains to keep it easy, the word fix. Um, move myself. That needs to go in yellow. And then it says if they're broken, so I'm going to put text contains broken. Those need to go red. So I know I need to fix them. And you can even bold and italicize. You have a lot of fun with the formatting here. And done. Not too bad. You can also do stolen as a different one. You can really see the fun that you can have. I just going to close that one a lot. Okay, I hope you enjoyed Vertical Lookup. Please let me know if you have any questions because it is kind of a goofy formula. that takes a little bit of finicking. You can kind of see some of the keystrokes where I had to go back and fix it, which I'm glad because it shows that can happen to you just like it happens to me and it's super easy to fix. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm here for you. I can come to your campus. Um, Feel free to add comments to your spreadsheets. I've seen, I've shown you how before. But remember that little comment right, uh, right up here at the top. Insert comment. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I can't wait to see how you do.